Hey everybody, this is Derek with the Ride Alt Podcast. How are you all doing? Uh, it's been a, while, a long time, and uh, it's a different world, it seems. Trump is going to be the president of the United States. Of course, we had Brexit. Uh, Austria is fucked for the time being. Italy, it appears, just won their referendum uh, as a way to modify their constitution to make it easier for them to leave the United Kingdom, the United Kingdom, the EU. What's the point anymore? What's, what's the difference anymore? And France is having their elections coming up very, very soon with Marine Le Pen and the Front National, National, whatever the fuck. I, I need to catch up on my French. Uh, the Front National uh, taking the lead in the polls, and they may possibly be the new power in French politics. And that would change a lot, wouldn't it? That would change a lot of things in French politics. That would change a lot of things in European politics. And I think that would change a lot of things in world politics. But one can only hope. Now, Alex and I have been discussing the possibility of changing the name of the Right Alt Podcast. It it wouldn't be very hard to do. Now would be a good time to do it. We don't have much content up. Uh, we have a very small following, and we haven't been very active on the channel for the time being. Uh, that is all going to change, of course. But the question is, why do we need to change the name the Right Alt Podcast? Why did this question come up? About three weeks ago, there was a video posted by The Atlantic. Everybody saw it on Facebook. And it was of the National Policy Institute a shindig they had in Washington, D.C. And they had Richard Spencer up there, who's their, their new Fuhrer or whatever. And he gave a speech and he praised Keck, Pepe, and, uh, you know, Sig Heil to God Emperor Trump. And then people in the audience gave the Roman salute. And, of course, the Atlantic caught that and it went viral. And it was everywhere. It was NPR. It was MSNBC. It was all over the mainstream media. Even we, we in the uh, alt-right were talking a lot about it. We were laughing at it uh, at first, thought it was pretty funny. But then after a while, it started to sink in what a horrible, toxic thing that was. I have no doubt in my mind that... Those people who did that were either trolling or they were legitimately put there or paid to do that for the cameras. Now people want to distance themselves from the name Alternative Right or Alt-Right. And the only people that aren't backing down are uh, uh, crybabies like Red Ice Radio, who's like saying, well, <laughs> you know, those fuckers. Um... Uh, uh, they're not backing down on the alt-right, but a lot of groups on Facebook are backing down from the right alt or the alt-right label. I, I'm I'm with one in Washington State that decided to change their name from alt-right to new right. Why do we need to change our name? Why has this become toxic? It was toxic from the beginning. And we all knew the answer. The answer was because some people did a Sig Heil on uh, camera. And that is associated with white supremacy and neo-Nazis in the alt-right. And people uh, who just consume media and don't question it are not going to question the narrative and are going to associate anybody, anybody who is alt-right as in, with the neo-Nazis and white supremacists. Um, and it doesn't matter if it's their best friend. It doesn't matter if it's their teacher. It doesn't matter if it's an employee or a coworker. It does not matter. You are now a fucking Nazi, and there is no going back from that. Now, I, for one, don't think it's it's a good idea to change the name. I say stick with alt-right and uh, let people deal with that. Um, we should deal with that in the way that we need to instead of uh, letting the, the media push us around and control the narrative. And then control how we label ourselves. That's just stupid. Black Lives Matter doesn't um, stop calling themselves Black Lives Matter because black people set police cars on fire and rape children and shoot each other during riots. They don't do that. They double down. Of course, I think Black Lives Matter has less to lose 
so they don't really care. Um, we in the alt right, you know, some of us have families and jobs, and and um, <laughs> you know, we're gonna buy a house pretty soon. Some of us. That having been said, um, I want to address the whining in the alt right since then, uh, and why we have distanced ourselves from the label, and why I think distancing distancing ourselves from the label is um, inauthentic. Remember any time before June of 2015, we were on 4chan, we were on Reddit, on Twitter, and we saw people posting stuff about Hitler and the Nazis and gassing the kikes and burning the niggers and race war now and all that horrible shit. And we kind of distance ourselves from those people we never interacted with them and i'm just speaking we as in a pejorative and when i mean we i mean me <laughs> and i hope this applies to you we uh, uh never really interacted with those people and they were just kind of there in the background but they, they weren't allies they were just shit posters and you know after trump started to make waves and after that uh, his movement began to pick up momentum. Did you notice that we started to interact a little bit more with these people in the so-called alt-right? Or, or they weren't even alt-right back then. They were just neo-Nazis and storm fags. And we started sharing memes with them and talking and sharing information. I mean, we we knew exactly who we were getting into bed with at that point. We didn't care. Uh, the, the term alt-right, whether it was there before or it had been coined during that time, it doesn't matter. It popped up and we just glummed onto that label. We were alt-right, along with the neo-Nazis and the white supremacists. We were, we were them. We were sharing memes and laughing at the memes. You know, race war now, gas the kikes, ha 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 ha. We didn't... We didn't distance ourselves online, you know, at least anonymously. We didn't distance ourselves. We got into bed with them. And now here we have the National Policy Institute and the mainstream media and these fuckers giving the Roman salute. And we see that and we go, oh, no, 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 no. We're not that. We can't. No, no, no. We got to distance ourselves from that. Like how fucking hypocritical. Who do you think we got into bed with to get Trump into power? It's ridiculous. Why are we distancing ourselves now? Oh, 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 because because they walked into our room, turned on the light, and caught us masturbating? Yeah, that's why. That's exactly why. Just go with it. Just just start flapping your dick, dude. I mean, the 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 problem is censorship. The problem is that we we still have this urge to fit in. I was having a back and forth with uh, filmmaker Lauren Feldman on Twitter the other day. And Lauren Feldman, by the way, is the writer and director of the movie Silenced, which is available online. Mike Cernovich produced it. Please do go check it out. I haven't watched it yet, but it's out there. Silenced. And he's told me, even though I have faith, that we're losing the culture war. We're losing, uh, uh, they're winning, we're losing. The PC battle um, is not going in our favor. And it's very true. And it's true because we are distancing ourselves from a label that we took up and owned and honed, made it part of our identities for a year. Now we're distancing ourselves because of a couple Roman salutes at the National Policy Institute shindig. And then the media went crazy with it. Now everybody who's alt-right, as you saw the, the memes on Facebook, all the progressives saying, let's just stop calling them all right and let's call them what they are. White supremacists, Nazis, anti-Semites, racists, blah, 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 right? And then here we go. We're distancing ourselves. They won. They won that. You have to understand when you give up because somebody takes your label and fucking destroys it, you lose. We don't get to claim that we are winning the PC war or that we're on top. We aren't able to even claim that 
if the mainstream media takes our identity, runs it through the mud, turns it into a symbol of hate and anti-Semitism, and we distance ourselves from it because we don't want to lose friends and alienate ourselves from you know, average society. That's why we're losing. And that's why the alt-right, more or less, is dead. Now, are we going to change the name of this channel? No, of course not. We're going to keep going with it. Because censorship starts with you. If you back down from this, then ask yourself, what else will you back down from? We have progressives out there with fucking diaper pins on their lapels walking around in public. It's, it is the most laughable, disgusting, fucking hilarious shit I have ever seen in my life. Grown-ass people wearing diaper pins on their bodies as if it's some kind of symbol of strength or unity, and they're not ashamed. So why are we ashamed? So what that someone threw up a, a Roman salute? We should throw up more Roman salutes. You know, the only way to break the Overton window is with a Sig Heil. That's what I believe. And I'm not anti-Semite. I mean, you know, I, I tease Alex a lot for being a triggered Jew. So what? We're all Jews. No, we're not. We're not all Jews. We're all in this together. Okay, no, we're not all in this together. Because some of you fucking ditched out. But the point is, let's not change our name again. <laughs> let's stay the alt-right. Because I know a lot of you used to be, quote, libertarians, and now you're alt-right. Don't change. Just be the alt-right. Just go with it. Because in five years... You know, we may have a second Trump presidency, and the name alt-right could mean something completely different. The word liberal now means something different than it was 30 years ago. So think about that. We need to stay the course. We need to stay alt-right.